This is a stud finder. This is a Zircon. Uh, I got the L50. They've got lots of different models. Using a stud finder can be a little bit tricky. Um, you set it against the wall. You want to press firmly. You're going to push your button. Tells me it's ready. And now I'm going to move it. And I'm going to keep it firmly pressed against the wall. Coming over. And there. Gives me one edge of my stud. And I'm going to come back the other way. And there's the other edge of my stud. So, according to my stud finder, my stud is right through there. Now, they're not foolproof. Um, I can tell by knocking that there is, in fact, a stud there. Listen to this. So it's a little hard to, a little hard to tell, but uh, there is a slight difference in the pitch or the sound. Depending on what you're hanging, you can just put your nail in or your screw in. Sometimes I'll take a very small nail and pound in if I'm not certain. So that's the basics of using a stud finder. I will typically like to do it several times because if you happen to start your stud finder on a stud, it's not going to work at all. It's not going to show anything. And so I usually start my stud finder in several different spots and come across until I get multiple readings in the same area. Now the thickness of the wall, um, things like that can also cause some trouble. But, uh, and that's why using a little nail to tap in and make sure there's a stud, you'll feel it hit where it's drywall to go straight in. Uh, so now I'm gonna mark where studs are. So I'm coming over. So here's a stud. And there's the edge. So this happens to be a double stud over here. Now each stud that you mark, you're going to want to be drilling right in between in the middle of the stud. Uh, in this case, this being two studs next to each other, you probably want to offset it a bit so I actually hit the middle of a single stud. I'll include a link on Amazon where you can pick, pick this up. Um, there's lots of different makes and models. This is um, not the very lowest end. Uh, it's a little bit higher, which I like because it's got a deep scan and a stud scan. So um, it has a couple different options. Now, as you use your stud finder, I want to warn you about a couple things. Just from a safety standpoint, you're busy finding the stud, see, there's one. Watch out for things like power outlets. Sometimes you have wires that run up right next to your studs from a power outlet. It's ideal just to stay away from things other area that can be a challenge or light switches. So as I come along next to this, see there's some, there's a stud right next to this, right there. With this stud next to these light switches, I also know there's going to be some wires in the wall. So you want to be really careful of that. Same thing down here with our electrical outlet. So this outlet has a stud that it's secured to. So it's on this side. See that? So there's a stud running right next to this box because the box is screwed into it. So we got some wires in there somewhere. So be careful, be cautious around those. You really don't want to puncture them.